All right, guys, this is Jason with FPV Model. Uh, today, what we're going to do is we're going to give you a look at the new uh, F40 motors by T-Motor. Uh, for those of you that may not know, F40 just basically means 2204. So I guess if they had 2206, they'd go ahead and call them F60. But uh, these are 2300 kV motor and it's the newest offering they have. So what we're gonna do is open the box and give you a look at it. Uh, after we're finished making these, this video, we're gonna send these out to Paul and he is going to uh, check them out. And if he decides to make a video about them, we will go ahead and include it in the link or the uh, product description. We'll include a link in there so you can uh, check out his review of them. But let's go ahead, move this out of the way and open the box and give you a look inside. So when you get these, we've already opened them, but when you get them, uh, you'll just remove these two layers and you have uh, your nuts and your screws in a plastic bag. Let's go ahead and dump these out on the table. And two things I'd like to mention. One is the actual screw. Uh, for those of you that might have to replace arms due to crashes or anything, these screws are, uh, the screws are kind of beefy and they are M3 size, uh, M3 size hex driven screws. So you're not gonna have to worry uh, about these stripping out easily. So if you do have to, if you do have to swap them out from arms a few times, uh, chances are you're not gonna st strip these screws out. Now, we've got the uh, prop nuts here. These are locking nuts with the nylon washer on the inside. So that's one good thing. And also keep in mind that these are all uh, CW. So all of, your props are, all of your prop nuts are gonna screw on the same way, uh, which is just going to be, which is going to be clockwise here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the motor itself. Uh, as you can see, it's just a uh, black motor, gold, uh, gold labeling, and in typical T-motor fashion, there is no play at all between the uh, base and the uh, bell of this motor here. So uh, these are gonna stay true to T-motor form and be a pretty good quality motor. Also, one other thing that I do would like to mention, the uh, mounting holes where you run the screws through. Now on the inside, on the opposite side of these uh, holes, there's a metal plate. And what that metal plate is designed to do is stop you from screwing in your motors too far and accidentally sticking them up in the windings. Uh, it, there's several of you that might be watching this video that have uh, learned from experience that sometimes you can run a screw just a tad too far on the inside and once you touch those windings and uh, start your motors up they'll smoke uh, pretty easily. So here we go let's just go ahead and give you a full look at the uh, label here and like I mentioned they do say F40 2300 kV and that's just adding a bit more confusion to the world so keep in mind that F40 is just 2204. And they also gave you a little bit of Chinese here. And for those of you that may not know, this is uh, what this is saying is Po Feng, which oddly enough means to break or damage wind. Now those of us that are familiar with the English language, breaking wind has a uh, completely different meaning. But uh, nonetheless, it's still kind of funny. Now, the cables on these, they give you plenty of length. Uh, plenty of length with them. You're not going to need nearly this much, but they are uh, nice silicone coated uh, silicone coated cables and they will hold up to a little bit of torture whenever you're uh, whenever you're installing these motors and swapping out on uh, newer frames or newer arms in the future. So uh, they'll hold up uh, they'll hold up pretty well over time. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these back in the box, get them shipped out to Paul, and uh, see what he thinks about them. Anyways, uh, we just wanted to make this video to give you a quick look at them and uh, let you know what they look like. Anyways, th thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Thank you.